You know, Doctor, I am kind of pressed for time here. Well, this shouldn't take too long. But I, I just remembered I have an appointment. Well, call and tell them you'll be late. It's important. Well, nothing is more important than your health. Dr. Culver, <sighs> yes. it's Mrs. Walton. Her labor is very advanced. Contractions a minute apart. All right, I'm coming. I'll just stop by next week. No, 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 no. I have to insist that you stay here until I've examined you, Miss Wallace. But... It's vital that you have a thorough examination. I want you to stay with her. Please, make sure she doesn't leave. She claims not to be pregnant. It sure looks like she is. Yeah, well, I agree. But if she isn't, there's something really wrong with her. I, mean, I can't imagine why she's so swollen. But I intend to find out. I'll see that she stays, Doctor. I'm sorry, Miss Wallace. The doctor insists that you wait for an examination. I know what the doctor said, but I'm fine, really, okay? You can't leave. Oh, oh my God, your water broke too? What? No, wait, that's not water. That, that's a grainy, grainy looking like salt or sugar. <sighs> I've seen a few things in my life, but never anything like this. What is going on? This is my first pregnancy, nurse. I know about water breaking, but nobody said anything about sugar. Is this gonna happen to me? Of course not. I don't even know what's happening here. I need to get the doctor back out here right away. No, 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 no. Don't get the doctor. But something is wrong. I'm fine. You are most definitely not fine. I'm getting the doctor. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. I thought there was something off about you. I don't know what you're talking about. Never mind. We're gonna stay right here until the doctor comes back out. I'm not letting you out of my sight. You can't make me stay here if I don't want to. You you have to let me go. Look, something isn't right here. The doctor is definitely going to want to see you. What's happening to you isn't normal. But you have no right. Beth, what's going on? You know Ms. Wallace? Oh, yeah, she's my, uh, my friend. Well, there's something very strange going on with her. Strange? <laughs> you just get me out. You know, you're right. Beth has been feeling kind of odd lately, and, you know, and she's not looking all that well either. It's more than that. She's been leaking sugar all over the place. Oh, no! I was afraid of that! Huh? Uh, 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 I need to get her to a hospital right away. But, Let's go, Beth. But Dr. Culver insists that she stay here to be examined. But, but, you know, I think this might be more than the doctor can handle. In fact, you know, I think we might need to see a specialist, and I know exactly what to take her. Let's go! All right, Miss Wallace, why don't we... Where did she go? And wh where, where did all this sugar come from? We're gonna get ants. I have no idea what's going on here. But I do know, this place is way too weird for me. I'm out of here. I quit. I just, I can't believe my sugar pouch broke. Yeah, how'd that happen? The nurse grabbed me. She put her hands on you? Oh, kill her. <laughs> Calm down, Charlie. I'm just glad you showed up when you did. I say I'd always look after you. I wouldn't get too confident. It could be all over for us. What are you talking about? We got away clean. I'm not talking about that. It's Luis. He got called back to the police station. There was some news about Sheridan. There was, huh? No, I'm worried that they found her in the basement. Well, don't worry your pretty little head about that. Everything's a-okay. What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm the reason Luis got called back to the station. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. Well, your old lady, she told me you and Luis were over at the doctor's. I knew that was trouble. And I knew that you'd be scared the doctor would find out you weren't pregnant and that Luis would find out the truth. But, you know, I, I didn't know how to help you. So, so I tried to set up a gas leak. What? 
gas, you know, the stuff you cook with. What? I, I set up a leak in your inside your house. Why? Well, yeah, I, I was hoping that Luis would come back to your place. It would blow up, killing him and Sheridan, and then it wouldn't matter if you knew you weren't pregnant. He'd be dead. What? Are you insane? Well, uh, how come you're mad? Oh, you were only gonna kill Sheridan, not Luis. Well, what do you care if the cop buys a farm? Yeah, unless there's something you're not telling me. You know, maybe you lied to me about not being interested in him. No. I'm not interested in Louise. It's the baby. I'm interested in the baby, remember? So we could be a family? How are we going to be a family if, if we kill Sheridan before the baby is born? Baby. Right. Yeah. So what about the gas leak? Oh, God, that man. What, what's his name? Hank? He came over, found it, turned it off. That was that. You know, I was stuck again. So I had to come up with a new idea. Someone you know, to get Luis out of the doctor's office before he found out it wasn't a baby you were carrying, but a sack of sugar. Would you get to the point? What did you do? <laughs> You're gonna love this. I came up with the perfect plan. <laughs> Talk about thinking on your feet. It hit me like that. W w what did you do? Would you stop patting yourself on the back for two seconds and tell me? Well, I, I knew I had to get Luis away from you, and I knew a call from headquarters would do it, so... I forced Blondie to make an audio tape. You know, it was either that, I told her, or I'd kill her then and there. So she was so worried about her baby, she was willing to do anything. So I had her tell Luis she was staying in France and was ending their relationship, that she needed to move on without him and, and would never be coming back to Harmony. It was over between them. Then I had the tape delivered to the police department, and good old Hank called Luis right away. I was going to write a letter, but I thought a tape would be more personal. That's why I patted myself on the back. Come on, it was a perfect plan. Plus, it killed two birds with one stone. Well, it certainly got Luis out of the doctor's office. And best of all, he now doesn't think just that Sheridan's in France. He thinks she's finished with him, and that she's ended the relationship forever, and he'll stop looking for her. I don't know about that. What? I I'm not sure he'll believe Sheridan is serious. No, he'll definitely believe Sheridan is serious. I saw that. How? I sent Sheridan's ring with the tape. The one you told me Luis gave her? His grandmother's ring. <laughs> I made sure Sheridan told Luis on the tape she was returning it, and that their relationship was totally over. I'm impressed. And you should be. Returning Sheridan's ring to Luis, that was a great idea. Oh, brilliant. Okay, it was brilliant. <laughs> I mean, he knows that, that she would never return the ring to him and, unless she was finished with him. That's what I was counting on. You were right, Charlie. Yeah. You were so right. <laughs> now Luis will stop looking for Sheridan. He'll have to face the fact that she wants nothing to do with him. And he'll be ready to move on with his life, start a new relationship. What? Why does that matter? Huh? You heard me. What difference does it make if Luis is ready to move on his life? I mean, what, what does it mean to you? None. I was just talking. Are you not thinking out loud? You sure you're not interested in Luis? What? Stop answering questions with questions. I mean, is this your way of trying to get Luis for yourself? I want the truth, Beth. I want it now.